On the list, we've competed in some extreme off-road racing. Here's a few of the adventures we've taken off-road, starting with the pinnacle of off-road racing, the Baja 1000, followed by King of the Hammers and the Rally Asia des Gazelles in the Moroccan desert. This is the best of off-road racing. everybody, welcome to The List. I'm Patrick McIntyre. And I'm Jesse Combs. And today we are in Morocco, Johnson Valley, California. South of the border. So come along with us as I check Race the Rally Aisha de Gazelles. The Baja 1000. Race and King of the Hammers on our list. Here's what happened. We started off in the vehicle with Jesse driving, and I was the co-pilot. So my job was to look at the navigation system, uh, which is more difficult than you might expect. You wouldn't think that, but staring at a tiny little screen while you're bouncing all around and you're trying to tell her hard left, hard right, is very difficult. Now, when I got a chance to get inside the car, we were on a Sunday drive for a little bit. For us to make decent time on this, I really don't think I can drive as fast as you can. We hit some whoop de whoops we hit a little jump. I took some shortcuts that I didn't mean to take, and we had a lot of puddles. Oh. I'm gonna get it now. Oh. <laughs> Patrick. It's now 5.30, so I pretty much got like a full night's rest. The car's about 35 miles out, and it's our turn to go rock the rest of the race. I think that's them coming in right now. This is the first year for the Spec Classic King of the Hammers, and we were lucky enough to get a seat in one of them. We're going to be running the Everyman Challenge, which is a circuit created for the sportsmen and modified stock vehicles. There are six vehicles in the 4700 class. Ours is 4703. It's a solid axle 4x4 Jeep body with a tube chassis. It's got a Mopar V8 making 500 horsepower and beadlock wheels, which are wearing Falcon Wild Peak MT tires. Vehicles prepped to run King of the Hammers are incredible. They run in an unlimited class and come in all shapes and sizes. They need to be built for both high-speed endurance racing and precise technical rock crawling. They must be capable of running in four-wheel drive, and they can exceed 100 miles per hour and still have gearing ratios as low as 100 to 1 for technical rock crawling. So we're on day six, leg five. We're going out on another marathon leg today, so we have two different sets of dunes that we have to drive through. The thing that's gonna drive me nuts today is that we can't help. We can do nothing but watch. If you get stuck, we have to watch. So that's difficult for me because I want to help. <laughs> Jesse, we gotta go. Okay. See? I'll see you. We'll see you out there. Yeah. Okay. The most challenging sections of the rally are reserved for the two consecutive marathon legs. The teams must confront the biggest and most disorienting sand dunes. And instead of returning to the bivouac that night, the teams must camp in the desert and press on in the morning. Along the way, ambitious teams have the option of tracking alternative checkpoints called X checkpoints. These flags require more driving and navigating skills and actually reduce your kilometer count if you find them. But the penalty for missing an X checkpoint is severe. So once again, teams must weigh the risk versus the reward. Click the links below to watch full episodes.